Welcome biologists, today we're going to be looking at the factors that affect and determine the size of a population. This is taken from Populations and Sustainability 6.3.2 from the OCR specification for A-level biology. Whilst we're looking at this specification point, we need to look at what a carrying capacity is and what affects that carrying capacity. So first of all, let's look at the population growth curve. Um, so we have the number of organisms uh, against time. Um, and what happens normally during a population growth of some organisms is that first we have a very slow development uh, and slow population growth. This is the first phase. And in this phase, the birth rate is higher than the death rate. We then get very rapid growth of the population size. This is a phase two. Uh, and this is where there's very few limits on the population growth, which is why it grows so much. And we have a higher number of organisms um, growing and surviving. We then come into the, the final phase, which is called the stable phase or state. And this is where uh, further growth is very limited. And this is due to external constraints. And as you can see, you get fluctuations here within the population growth. Uh, now, this point here on the graph, this point here is where the carrying capacity is met within the population. And the carrying capacity is where uh, the population has reached its maximum size that the environment can support. And, and this part here now is taken directly from the MART scheme, um, which is um, the carrying capacity is not subject to any more succession. And succession, that we, we did look at that in um, ecosystems, if you do want to go back and have a look at that as well. Okay, so if all resources were available in plentiful supply, the population would grow exponentially. Limiting factors can be categorised as abiotic, which is the non-living factors, or biotic, such as living factors. So abiotic factors, if you remember, this is things like, for example, nutrients or oxygen, for example, pH. Whereas biotic factors, these are things like intra-specific competition and inter-specific competition. For example, such things as like mates, or finding a mate, for example, or a predator or parasites. They're the biotic kind of factors. Okay, other variables that can affect population growth include immigration and emigration, where immigration is the movement of organisms into the area and emigration is the movement of organisms out of the area. So as we just mentioned before, carrying capacity is the population of the maximum population size and environment can support. And that bit there in the red box, that is taken directly from the Mark scheme. Populations are not subject to further succession. So that covers our first lesson objective for populations and sustainability 6.3.2. We've looked at the factors that determine the size of a population. We've looked at the significance of limiting factors and determining the carrying capacity of a given environment and the impact of these factors on final population size. So this pit here is a little bit self-explanatory and a bit of general knowledge. If you apply these factors, abiotic and biotic factors, immigration and migration to this kind of a graph, like what factors make it go up, what factors make it go down, that part is pretty uh, general knowledge and that'll come more once you answer more exam questions. So good luck with your exam guys. Remember do not use the words it, amount or they or size and remember use good detailed biological terminology in your exams. Good luck.